This is Frank. He's 16 and played baseball and is currently a power lifter, so he's pretty athletic. One of his major tendencies was topping it a lot, so all of these shots were short and low, but when he hit a good shot, they were high and straight. He hit a lot of pushes as well. Frank had a good centerness of contact, but his face was too open, which caused him to push a lot of shots to the right. He had a positive angle of attack, so he didn't hit down on it or get under it enough. Also, his club head speed was too fast, but he had a decent path for his first time being on a driving range. Also, during our lesson, one thing we worked on was hitting down on it because he wanted to see it go up in the air. To help him do this, I told him to take half swings and really focus on brushing the ground more to get it up. This helped him achieve something that he wanted to see happen in his swing. Also, one minor fix in the beginning was to keep his head down through the ball, but he picked that up right away because of his previous experience with baseball. This part of the lesson, I helped him fix his grip by moving his hands and showing him where they should be. I kept the 10 finger grip because his hands are bigger and it was more comfortable than interlocking a grip for him. During this lesson, we learned something more complicated, which was a weight shift drill. He kept his left foot back while going through the ball because of baseball, so I was teaching him how to transfer the weight from his left foot to the right and help him reach the finish position too. This weight shift drill was teaching him how to shift his weight back at the top of the swing and bring it back as he came down. He understood the weight shift concept because of baseball. I think that's something that I did well was that I gave him good tips and if he didn't understand something that I told him, I was approachable and he would ask me questions about it. I also think that I told him three quality tips which were to keep his left foot down, to shift his weight with the ball, and to slow his swing down to make better contact and to stop topping the ball. Something that I could do better is to not give him so many confusing tips at once. At one point, I did, I had give him so many tips that I had to stop and reiterate the three major tips that I was giving him to focus on. With giving less tips in one lesson, I think that I should be more hands-on and more fun with drills. Also, something that I struggle with is getting my message across to people, so I should try to work on that with future lessons. I learned through this project that I know more than I thought about the golf swing by being hands-on and instructing for real. I also learned that people do learn more than one way and that I should be more open-minded to that in the future. I think overall, I learned that I am more comfortable teaching than I thought I was, which helps give me confidence for future work opportunities.